Welcome to Honest Portuguese. Welcome to my house and again my kitchen and again to my show. Thank you for viewing. Uh, today we are making a very popular dish for Portugal. It is chicken and rice. Now there are versions of chicken and rice. There's gizzards. There's the whole bone uh, chicken and rice. There's uh, chicken with clams. There's chicken with mussels. Uh, mussels, clams, everything. We're just going to do a bone in that we're going to take the bone out, uh, chicken thigh, chicken and rice on this one. I have done gizzards, phenomenal, but we're just going to do that. If you want gizzards, uh, cut them up, get about a pound of them, cut them up, boil them in water with a little bit of vinegar for about 20, 30 minutes to loosen them up, and then just sub substitute them with the chicken here. Okay, let's go through this. Here's another uh, choice, okay? Three or four different choices you have. I get a rotisserie chicken, uh, take the bone, make some chicken stock out of it with celery, the, the, uh, the trilogy, celery, onion, and um, carrots. And that's what I'm going to use today. You can use water, you can use broth, chicken broth out of a can, you use chicken stock, whatever preference you want. Yes, we got our rice, bay leaves, Portuguese olive oil, uh, Carlo, Rossi's sister, Carlo Rossi's sister, the white wine. We got some garlic, we have onion, salt, pepper, paprika. There's those three uh, thighs. I leave the skin on while I'm, rend uh, while I'm uh, browning them just to render some uh, juice out. And then I remove the skin and then remove the bone. There, I'll show you here in a bit. I got one stick of linguiça that's all cut up and one can of uh, diced tomatoes there. Okay, we're over here at the stove. Just a little bit of olive oil. Okay, as you can see, I diced the onion. I also took about three cloves of garlic fresh Got them all chopped up in there. Nothing, just a rough chop, nothing fancy. Didn't take me very long. And let's dump that all right in there. I like to saute with my bay leaf, okay? Don't know why, maybe I just think I'm a little fancy. While I'm doing that, because I have my gloves, I'm able to grab these raw chicken and put them in here also. When it starts cooking down, I'm gonna remove the skin. Right now, again, I'm gonna leave them there, cook them down 10, 12 minutes on there, and it will get a nice little broth that's gonna form at the bottom. Then I'll pull this, and I'm also gonna cut the uh, meat off the, the chicken thigh bone. It's gonna look a little barbaric because a lot of it also isn't cooked, but there's gonna be three different cooking processes. You have this one, you have another, when I take the meat off the bone, I'm also gonna uh, uh, brown it a little bit, and also it's gonna cook for about 20, 30 minutes in the stove, so there's no, no uh, worry about raw chicken meat. Chicken and rice is an, a, a Portuguese, I know that when I post this, I'm gonna have a lot of comments and people going, this isn't the way my Vava made it, or I, she tried this or did that, and that's exactly what I want. I wanna hear you guys, what you did different, what, or this is exactly the way you guys used to cook it. I do use an Uncle Ben's rice. Uh, I do like that rice, uh, it's uniform. It's tasty. Uh, that's the rice my whole family uses. Um, my family is from the Bay Area and also the Boston area. So both sides of the family uh, do it pretty much exactly the same way, chicken and rice recipe. And there are also, my chicken stock is a little, you know, I do put some salt in it. So sometimes it's one thing you could always spice up. It's really tough to spice down. So I like to go easy on the salt. Then after the chicken rice is cooked, then the people eating it can adjust up on the, the amount of seasoning they want on it. I'd rather go a little light because I, I have no taste buds when it comes to salt. I can, I can eat a salt lick and not notice it. And my wife, who's not Portuguese by the way, gets mad at me when I put too much salt on stuff. I put a little pepper, ground pepper of course. Yeah, those, those onions are really starting to, and the garlic and the bay leaf that's starting to gain some moisture back, that aroma. Did I tell you that I grow my own bay leaf? <laughs> if you've watched my previous episode, you uh, realized I told you guys that I bought a, a uh, bay leaf plant and it yielded probably about $3 worth of bay leaf and the plant only cost me in the mid 20s. So I'm way ahead of the game, wink, wink. So the skin is getting ready to come off on one at least, or, or I'm gonna force it off. And of course, this one might give me trouble. Come on, baby. An easy way to do this too, and a choice you would have is just get boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I wish your camera Bruce had smell-o-vision, 
because it's starting to, whew, that was a good whiff. What I also do too that I don't know is procedure, I don't know if uh, Bobby Flay or any of them fancy guys are doing it, but I use uh, cooking shears to cut the meat off. Okay, because I have my uh, gloves on, the intense pain of the heat of how hot these things are isn't as bad. Again, I don't want to scare you because it has some raw chicken. It will be cooked down two more times. If you want it a little bit so-called healthier, I guess you could use white chicken, but you also will get no flavor because white meat does not have any flavor. But your choice. Got some nice gristle forming at the bottom that I will, with that white wine, I will deglaze. So I'm going to take a cup of the white wine. And in that time, too, I'm going to put my chorizo in there, linguiça. I don't like my, I don't like to really cook down my linguiça. I like to stick, keep it a little juicy. So I put the wine in with the linguiça in hopes that at the end product will be a nice piece of moist linguiça when the rice is all cooked out and everything. Next step is my homemade chicken stock. I'm gonna do four cups of broth, a can of tomatoes, the diced. I use no salt again because I'm getting salt from the, the stock and the linguiça. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil, two and a half to three cups of rice. If while you're cooking this rice, you notice that maybe it's absorbing the moisture a little bit more than you want or it's forming a crust, it's okay. It, you could do one of two things. You can leave it, eat the crust. Some people like that little, some chunky rice, uh, but you could always add, I have a little bit left of the broth that if I do, if that does happen, about midway through the cooking process when I notice it. So, I now I'm going to put the rice in there. As soon as it gets to a boil, that's the that I mean that's about the time when your rice is going to start softening up just a bit. It's going to really cook out in the oven. But as soon as it gets to the boil, I'm done cooking the stove top. I'm going to put it in my casserole pot there. Okay, and as you can see, Bruce, as it just start bubbling up. I don't want a rapid boil. I don't want a, anything like that. Just a light little, hey, I'm getting hot kind of boil. And then we're going to transfer that to, again, my fancy casserole hot air. Got my gonna stir that around where everything is nice. You could take your bay leaves out at the time, but because my investment is so great in this, I'm gonna leave the bay leaf in as much as possible so I don't feel bad how much I paid for the plant. Put in there, 350, 325, depending on your altitude, for about, I check on about 10, 15 minutes, and then, then that's about halfway point, make sure I, if I need any more, more uh, liquid. All right, now we wait. Okay, now we get to eat what we just created. Portuguese chicken and rice. Look at, there's linguiça, tomatoes, thigh meat. <laughs> wow. Mm. You could taste the broth. That's key. Every time I make it with water, I have to spice it myself. Still okay. But if you get the opportunity, do the, the extra step there. The dark meat creates its own flavors from the juices from the dark meat. The chorizo linguiça 
has its own profile, as you know. This is a phenomenal dish. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Like my page. Go to YouTube. Please like my videos. Follow me. Let's bring this Portuguese cuisine to a next level. Again, be nice. All right, I just got a chance to watch the final cut of my family's Portuguese style chicken and rice recipe, which was a phenomenal dish, of course. I love that dish. Uh, I love it for right out of the oven. I love it for leftovers. Just a great, great, hearty family dish. Uh, as you can tell, we did a lot of uh, filming of the pan, cooking up the ingredients. That was intentional because there was a couple just key little little uh, processes there that uh, require a little bit extra work on it. And also because Bruce didn't want to film my favorite hat that I was wearing, so it was a double-edged sword on that. Uh, anyway, uh, fun, fun to do that video. Keep watching, keep liking, keep following, keep sharing, and of course, always keep being nice. Thanks.